Here's what would happen if the universe hit the reset button every billion years. First off, you wouldn't be here to worry about it. In fact, the ground beneath your feet wouldn't exist either. See, at 1 billion years old, the universe is still effectively a toddler. It's filled with hydrogen and helium, but it lacks the heavy stuff. To get the carbon for your DNA or the iron for your blood, generations of stars need to live, fuse elements, and explode to pollute the cosmos with heavy metals. So, uh, without that time, the periodic table is basically empty. No silicon means no rocks. No rocks means no planets. Now, for the reality anchor, Nobel laureate Roger Penrose actually argues that this is happening, just on a longer timescale. He claims to have found hawking points in the cosmic microwave background, basically scars left behind by the evaporation of supermassive black holes from a previous universe that died before ours began. But on a one billion year timer, it gets violent fast. Gravity would have to overpower dark energy almost immediately. The expansion of space would stop and reverse into a big crunch. You'd see every galaxy in the sky turn blue as they rush toward us. The background radiation would heat up from a chilly near zero to thousands of degrees, stripping atoms back into a soup of screaming plasma. And wait, here's the kicker. Since it took Earth about 4 billion years just to figure out how to make single-celled organisms, a 1 billion year loop means biology never happens. The universe would be a sterile fireworks display on repeat. So, if you feel like you're stuck in a rut, at least your atoms aren't being recycled into a primordial soup every Tuesday.